There's one person hanging out. I think I can do it. Just check the tire pressure on this, the starting tire pressure. I, I bumped it to 30. Actually, I think it said technically 30.5 when I pulled off my pump. And right, Elsa? And we are going to be doing some testing of the TNT tubeless tire today on the Master V4. Let's get you a little longer there. All right, so here we are, my first uh, substantial road test on the Master V4 since my crash. First substantial road test since, since I um, put the TNT tubeless tire on. This is the same tubeless tire that's used on the veteran Sherman L that I had some experience with when I was out in California. Like the tire. I took this out for like five minutes uh, the other night when I got the wheel all the way back together. And yeah, that little, that little test seemed fine. Held air just fine, but I want to do a couple things today to verify that this tire is a good fit for this, uh, this setup. Because the Master V4 with the C38 motor, the C38 motor is not designed for a tubeless tire. It does not have the kind of rim you would normally have with a tubeless tire. And we are going to see if that affects the ability of the tire to hold up to conditions that you may run into while riding. That's the plan, and it is windy as F. Very windy, damn. If you happen to turn in, uh, tune in to the live stream I did last night where I gave away the Pidzu mirrors, which I have a Pidzu mirror on my LS2 helmet right here. Uh, you might be surprised to see me because that stream was ridiculous. It was uh, five and a half hours long. Yes, five and a half hours long. Ran until, I don't know, 2 in the 2 30 in the morning too I, I don't know i kind of lost track of time i just know it was over five and a half hours long um gave away four sets of the mirrors had good participation the entire night and it was fun a lot of fun uh but it was long the longest live stream i've ever had uh, got someone behind me all right they want to see if they can keep up with me all right let's see how you do let's see how you do so i'm feeling a little bit of a uh, bump in the tire. Feeling a little bumpa 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 here as I'm rolling. Do I need to maybe, I don't know, need to massage a little bit? I'm not quite sure. But like going right now, I'm going upper 20s and I, I can definitely feel it. <clears throat> definitely feel it. But to see if that works itself out or if I'm gonna have to uh, do some messing around here. Definitely feel something that does not feel as smooth as it should be. And the tire itself, the tire profile was different than the uh, Michelin Pilot Street 2 as well. So uh, that feels a little different as well. It feels like I need to adjust it to that as well. So we'll see how this goes as the ride progresses. So the first thought that goes into my head, you know, with this little, this little bump that I'm feeling is that is the rim, was the rim possibly bent a little bit from the, uh, the crash? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, I rolled it by hand and I didn't see anything visible that looked bent but uh it, you know it's possible who knows who knows what happened when that thing went down you know because it had no air in it and um kinds of things can happen so i will have to check that as well verify that uh, but it feels okay otherwise you might notice i have my backpack on in my backpack i do have my inflator my my ryobi port portable inflator just in case uh, i do have issues with air staying in the tire hopefully i do not but i do have that with me just in case and I'm wearing my LS2 helmet because I plan to make a Dunkin' Donuts stop during this ride. I didn't really say where I'm going. I'm going to um, the Greenway. I'm gonna do my testing there. I'm gonna go down some small sets of stairs, curb drops. So I'm gonna do a curb drop right here. There we go. Gonna do multiple curb drops, multiple stairs, and just see if there's any impact on the uh, tubeless tire at all. Hopefully there is not, hopefully. Big shout out to all the people that are doing the uh, Southern California EUC tour. Uh, the first day was yesterday. Today is day two. Sounds like day one went pretty well. And uh, yeah, I hope you're having fun out there. It's a lot of riding, a lot of riding. Uh, but it seems like, a, I, don't, I don't know that they did a count on people, but uh, it seems like 
a, a similar, if not even greater number than what they've had in previous years. So that's a good thing, right? So hope you guys uh, have fun, stay safe, and uh, keep riding. So I had my first uh, real ride since the crash last week on the veteran Patton. And during that ride, I, I kind of answered a question that a lot of people were hypothetically thinking was, am I now scared to, oh, here we go, people on the road. Am I now, am, am I scared, do I have hesitation to ride now? And, and my short answer was no, uh, but that was on a veteran patent. I do have to admit that riding on the V4, uh, the wheel that I did actually crash on, I feel a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more something. Not scared, but being on the actual wheel uh, that I picked off the road after it failed on me uh, does, does have a little bit of a strange strange uh, aftertaste, I would say. A little strange. Been this way since the hurricane, so it'll be a little interesting to see uh, if I see anything significant here. It seems like there's a decent amount of people out on this pleasant Sunday afternoon. We've had much better weather here in the last uh, few days, so people are taking advantage of it. How's that tire look from the side? Is this a wedding reception they're having here? This is where I want to do my steps. Hopefully I can go out the other side, let's see. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, I can still do them, I think. Never seen the, uh, the private event. Yeah, wow, well, okay, here we go. Small steps. Small steps, and here's a curb we can hop off of. It's definitely pounding on the tire pretty good. I didn't hear any, I've heard people say like when a tubeless tire isn't seated well, uh, like it'll burp when you're doing stuff like that. You'll like, actually hear it losing air. I have not heard anything. I guess the, um, the pressure monitor will tell the story when I put it back on there. I'm actually kind of hoping like hitting like these stairs and, and uh, little drops and stuff might help uh, work out whatever that little, that little bump I'm feeling while riding. I don't know, we'll see. Be nice. I like problems that kind of fix themselves. Let's see if I get lucky. Debating if I want to go over to the cabana and, and drink a couple beers, but you know, I drank last night on the stream and I drank a dinner last night, so it's not sounding all that appealing. So I think the short answer is no. Boom, boom, boom. And, uh, and I need to go home and walk Elsa too, so this can't be a real long, real long ride. So I think I'm going to take a pass. Are you gonna wait? Are you gonna wait? Thank you for waiting. We'll just buzz by the cabana and just see how full it is, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop. Not today, it's been a long time since I've been there. To hang out, a few months I bet, at least two. No, it's not that full though. Uh, let's see if we can find a good curb to drop off here. I think up here I can drop off. Yeah. Here we go, let's pop this. That almost sounded like a wheel chirp, right? And again. And one more time. Uh, let's drop off this way. Just a curb dropping theme. There's a pretty high curb up here, if I remember correctly, as you come into uh, Baker Park. High ish. Yeah, right here. So let's see how this goes. So far, so good, as far as I can tell. Need to try some more stairs though, right? There's a, a bigger set over here. If no one's down below, I can do them. Let's see. Uh, just one person hanging out. I think I can do it. OK, 
Okay, that, 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 felt, that felt pretty pretty solid as a test there. High speed uh, impacts on the steps. Still going okay here, still going okay. Last night, I wasn't even sure if I was gonna be able to do this ride today because my knees were just killing me, so sore. Luckily, uh, I took some Advil this morning and, and, and uh, they seem better now, but man, they were killing me. I think like anything, the more that I, you know, ride the Master V4 now again, the, the, the more confidence I'll, I'll gain in it. it was, it's just gonna be time. It's gonna be time. Right on the right side of the road there, buddy. Got the bike coming down the wrong side. Normally you wanna go the same side as you would if you're on a, driving a car. Uh, he did not. But luckily I am quick to react. Oh wait, here comes a plane here. Check it out. This could be cool for you to see. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Don't looky loo me. Let's go. There you go. It's on the ground. I see uh, many more planes taking off than landing here, so that was cool, I guess, right? Yep, I'm still feeling a little thump in the tire. A little thumpy. Like I can actually see my mirror kind of bouncing up and down. And of course, the faster you go, the more pronounced it is. Gotta get that sorted out. I just wanna get close so I can kind of review the footage to see if I'm seeing if I'm seeing that on video as well I don't know I, mean, I can see a really really small back and forth looking down on the tire it's very small I've ridden wheels with significantly more than that without an issue so yeah I don't know should be able to get a few more curb drops on my way to Dunkin Donuts which is my next stop Let's see right up here is one no it's not really no well, it's not a clean one sorry I didn't mean to get you all excited there. Uh, there's one up ahead though. Oh, curb drop. Yes, I'm in three lanes of traffic. Yes, yes. Very briefly. Very briefly. Just got to cross over here to the other side that has a bike lane. And then I uh, hear that vibration. That's a tire. Uh, <laughs> then I'll be on my way to Dunkin' Donuts. We're going stealth mode. Why? I don't know. Why not? This is how I wish bike lanes were. Where you got your bike lane and you have a nice little separation there. That'd be nice, right? Uh, but unfortunately, uh, that is not the way bike lanes are. At least in Collier County. This vibration is really annoying. Uh, tomorrow. They're supposed to be open until 7 o'clock, but they're not open. I see the other one over there is not open either. Huh, I don't know. Weird. Well, that's a bummer. They're closed. They're supposed to be open until seven o'clock. They're closed. There's no sign indicating why they're closed. They're just closed. So, okay. I guess no Dunkin' Donuts coffee for me. Heading home. And today is definitely a day I could have used uh, after two Dunkin' Donuts. You know, cause like I said, the stream went super late. I probably didn't fall asleep until, I don't know, 3.30, 3.45 in the morning. And despite that, got out of bed before 9 a.m. Some reason and yeah feeling a little tired but i don't know yeah i'm curious why they're closed is there some sort of thing going on i'm not aware of it's weird that they would close without a sign in the door explaining why they're closed right seems strange yeah it's been a pretty consistent annoying wind this entire ride as well it's been very windy the last several days kind of uh, combined with the the less than perfect feeling uh tire tire feel that i have right now that's not a good sentence but uh yeah I'm ready to get back. I don't think I've got my speed much over 30. And it's because the faster you go, the more amplified that little thump in the tire feels. So it's not, I don't know, it doesn't feel great. Yeah, I can I can really feel it. I'm just curious if, oh, freaking wind, man. I'm just curious how much it shows up on video. Yeah, this wind is just, it's right at my side, man. It's the worst spot for it. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention on last night's stream, you know, because there's lots of talk about pit zoom, you know, because I was giving the mirrors away. And I was on their site several times. And while I was on there, I looked at their their tire pressure sensor kit. Uh, you know, based on what happened to me 
the, the idea of, of being able to quickly verify my tire pressure is kind of appealing. So while I was on stream last night, I did buy one of those tire pressure sensor kits from Pidzoom. They're not cheap. I think it was, I got the one with two sensors. It was 79 bucks. If you get one sensor, 69 bucks. But um, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll try it out and let you know what I think. As you see, some of the people that live around me, they have their Halloween decorations out, something that I used to do. In my blog this past week, I wrote about traditions and how I had used to have a lot of traditions and how a lot of those traditions are starting to fade away for one reason or another, and, and decorating for Halloween is kind of one of them. But one tradition that I, I might uh, resume, I don't think I did it last year, is I might this, this night, or this week, one night, I might go over to Kings Lake and check out, ride around, and uh, check out the Halloween decorations over there because usually uh, they have some pretty amazing Halloween decorations over there. So I might do that one night this week. We'll see. These gullies by my house actually put a nice little bang on the tire as well. So here we go. One last bang on the tire. I'm going to bang it hard. Bang the hell out of that. All right, we're checking the tire pressure. I have not I have not done this ahead of time. You are seeing it at the same time I am. It's the exact same actually actually it went up a half a PSI because of I guess, the tire being warm. It was 30.5, now it's 31. 31! So it has lost nothing. So the tire survived all of that without an issue. So that makes me confident that the tire itself is pretty dependable on this rim. Now as far as the when I spin this and I'm watching this line, I'm seeing a slight deviation maybe. I think maybe, maybe I need to reseat this thing. Yeah, like I'm, yeah, there, there's definitely a difference in width here from this line where it's like fatter at one spot. It's further away from the rim at one spot than another. So I think I'm going to have to tr probably try to reseat that. So that hopefully is what is causing that, that uh, unevenness that I'm feeling when I'm riding. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. For my tubeless tire testing on the Master V4, I would say that the tubeless tire passed, right? It passed. It passed those tests. I did a number of stairs, a bunch of drops, and uh, it did not lose any pressure whatsoever. So that's a good thing. I just need to try to reseat it to see if I can just figure out the, the unevenness that I'm feeling. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that's all it is, is that I just need to get the tire seated evenly, and I think it'll be okay. So yeah, that's it. Right, Elsa? Right, honey? So anyways, yeah, that's all I got for now, guys. Um, if you found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. Uh, if this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Uh, huge thanks to eWheels once again for helping me out in this project, uh, providing me with the TNT tire and the parts that I needed to repair my master. Uh, thank you, Jason, Nick, and the rest of the crew at eWheels. Much appreciated, as always. Big thanks to my channel members. My channel members. Um, I currently, last time I checked, I have 23 of them. Um, I'm going to put them either here or over here, depending on, on where I have more space in the screen. Uh, thank you for your support. We had a number of channel members in the live stream last night as well. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you. Thank you. Watching uh, videos to the end is, um, is one of the best ways you can help support your um, favorite content creators. And if you happen to make it to the end of this video, put hashtag master in the Hashtag master in the comments, in your comment. And I will know that you made it to the end of the video. And I think we're almost to the end of the weekend as well. So, uh, and the Eagles won too. So I'm happy about that. So guys, that's all I have for now. I hope you have a great upcoming week. That's all I have for now. Until next time, Duff Man out. Also, would you like to go for your walk now? You go for your walk and then we'll get treats and supper. Yeah? Walk, treats, and suppers? Does that sound good? Is that good? You're not, you're not being very reactive, honey. Okay, all right. Yes, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know.